Oh, what is this? You're gonna okay. Oh, this I'm is recording. the boom boom. What do you? What is the firewood? I don't yes, know. Yes, yes, you got. Oh, that. FB, I figured. Fire purge. No, no. FP, Felix Papalotti. Oh, no. Fuck. <laughs> 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 hey, man, I'm just fucking I, with you. Did I ever tell? You, did I ever show you the picture I took of you and Noah with that Felix sign? I mean, we're leaving Candace's apartment, and in the middle of the street there was a police barricade, and it said Felix. I took a picture of you on one side, Noel on the other. Yeah, yeah I sort that? of remember that. Yeah, <laughs> I miss that son of a bitch. I yeah, tell me you. too. I really do. The guy was so he was great, so man. sweet. Listen, so this is the picture. One of the last pictures of Felix before he died with the bass. This is Gail, isn't it? No, that's Felix. Yeah, with the T-bird. I tell you one thing, took this. Uh, the only story I can tell you about this is that when Felix was stoned. I can't pick that motherfucker up. Let me have the lighter base. <laughs> it's a fucking, the fucking weight of this thing. All right. Um, Firebird. Ow. Thunderbird. That's what I said. Thunderbird. Uh, the Thunderbird. The Thunderbird bass he wanted to use on all the blue songs because it has that sort of elephant bottom end sound. I know he used it on Thumbsucker. Is that the one he used it on? Whole album. You yeah, did? It says he used this? Everything. The sound. That's it. He used Nantucket Sleigh Ride. Nantucket Sleigh Ride. Like Animal Trainer in the Toe, boo -doo -doo -doo, all that stuff. Okay, then funny. this is the story about that. Albert and Albert. He played it on the record, but he didn't want to bring it on stage because yeah. it was too fucking heavy. That was it. You understand, this is a long time ago. And he Albert. used it on the studio You were in your stuff daycare of, center, yeah. you know what? He used it on all the studio stuff of Flowers of Evil, too. Are you talking about... Years. Felix? Yeah. Yes. Why don't you say his full name, gentlemen? Felix Papillardi. Oh, Felix Papillardi. It's a good point, though. A lot of people won't know. Felix Papillardi, the bass player in Mountain and the producer of Cream. And he did, incre he did create on, on the album, and I remember this story. He had a bass sound because Felix was a, he played the barong in the Mideastern band. He didn't really play bass. And he was a producer, and he and John Sebastian used to run around and be the bass when you say the guitar the, session. The barone, I should have brought that. You mean the guitar role? Yeah, the guitar role. Have the guitar role. Did the you one. know him back then when he was a folky down there and beating it? Yeah, I knew him. Yeah, because he was he was coming in to produce my local band in 1967. And what happened is Cream came in, and he had to do that right away. That was his audition for Ahmed Erdogan, and he dropped. The band at the time was Energy. So yeah, I knew him through the folk times, and of course the Loving Spoonful were just breaking wide open and all that. The, the village was happening, and Felix was happening. And um, Atlantic Records. Where was I? Atlantic you Records wanted to audition Felix. him. Because uh, with Atlantic Records, uh, it's a f in capsule form. Robert Stigwood came in with the Bee Gees. The Bee Gees were breaking wide open all over the world except for America. Almond Erdogan wanted the Bee Gees. So Robert Stigwood says, well, I'll give you the Bee Gees, but I got these three guys, and I don't know what the fuck they're playing, but people love it, and I think it could happen. And, and uh, Almond says, well, well, they had a record called Fresh Cream, and it was all right, but I want them out on Atlantic. And Almond says, I don't know who the fuck they are. What do you know? You want the Bee Gees, you take Cream. So Almond says, all right, I got to get a fucking producer. At that point, Felix was hanging out. At Atlantic, because Bud Prager says, hang to sit at Atlantic. Good timing, he was sitting there, and I'm gonna walk out of the office. What are you, Felix? You, you wanna produce something? Go in the studio with Tom, and you have 10 days to get this fucking record produced. I think they're called milk or fucking uh, tofu, whatever it is, cream. That was the way it was. They didn't give a shit. And Felix went in there for 10 days, and fucking, and that's when I was living in New York. That's when I knew about all the other shit. Talk about. I don't know why I even told that fucking studio. story. It's a good story. Well, the thing Felix, is... We, we were talking about Felix, that's why. Well, okay. The Felix Let's talk about the, the recording of Nantucket Sleigh Ride in the studio when he was doing the quiet parts. He would use this bass for all the quiet parts in Nantucket Sleigh Ride. You know more than I know about uh, uh, this. You weren't there when he was cutting the tracks? I was there, but yeah, I was you there. But remember? I'm saying the only thing I remember about that, doing mountain climbing, Leslie kept on saying to me, you know, the bass sounds like an elephant fart. Yeah. You know, and I remember sort of let, uh, Felix heard about it. What's this? Uh, you think the bass sounds like, well, because he turned the bass way up. He, you know, Felix had it up in the stuff. And the bass in those days, because of the acetates, could only handle, the acetates could only handle a certain right. amount of the groove, at which point, if it's too much being of the groove being used, the needle flips off. 
So there we did, we finished mixing mountain climbing, or Felix did. I was up in Montreal, he went to Bimini to go fishing, gets a call back, you gotta come back and remix, especially the Western, theme for Imaginary Western. And I heard about this and I go back and Felix says, I don't understand, bass, why, why can't? Anyways, he had, this bass was so big on, on the record, the sound was so big they had to adjust it constantly with Felix, because Felix, and then, oddly enough, you ran into Ozzy Osbourne, and he says, you know something, like Felix had, he changed the whole sound of bass, man. You know, I didn't sound like that anyways. <laughs> but, um, and it was true, I realized a lot of the heavy metal that's going on now, and I just did a conference over in Helsinki. Wow. You know, Testament, fucking Anthrax, all, they all say that really the heavy metal stuff came from Felix's sound, because it was almost like an octave below, and uh, I guess the tonality and everything mm -hmm. has to do it. And yes, it, hello. Doggy, you should stand it probably, over here and move yeah. around, so. Well, it probably came from Bring your chair over here if you want. Just move around here. What is it? Talk what about, is it, this uh, the Ian Hunter thing? Now, now the last say, time uh, you, the the last time you see Felix. So I can't hear you, Mike, you stop Yeah, okay. Just around. Anyways, let me finish what I'm saying. Okay, I'm sorry. saying that even I, a lot of times we were playing, I was too busy trying to, you know, to put my part. I wasn't looking at what the other guys were playing. Maybe you were, but I wasn't. And it's, all I'm saying is this sound of this bass was responsible, number one, for a lot of remixing, but most importantly, I found out later, and I gotta tell you, personally speaking, I thought the fucking bass sucked. Because I was into stuff like uh, Otis Redding and stuff, uh, you know, the Memphis, the, uh, and that bass was like, Duck Dunn was like really flapping, you know, and Felix was just, boom, it's a different thing. And it didn't stop, you know, the fucking bass note finished like in fucking Albuquerque. And anyway, so I found out later that he was fucking right. This was this was the bass to use. Now, I can't even hold it up. This so is fucking actually heavy. it became his favorite bass in the end because talk about the last time when you played together. You have the video, The Outsider, uh, with you and yeah, Michael, that's and right. This is the video opens up and he's playing this bass. Yeah, and they zoom in on the Thunderbird and he's just this now. Do you know thing. why he was playing this bass? Is because no. this I just said the notes he can hang on this thing. You know, you can hang an entire choir on this bass when he plays the downbeat. The bass has an as resounds and it takes over. And the outsider was like, you know, the outsider, and that's why. So he used this to really maintain and sustain, and he loved it. In that particular session, he was in heaven because he didn't have to. to he didn't have to produce. All he did was play. Mm -hmm. And I remember, if you look at the video, he's happy as a pig in shit. Yeah, it was right. really that was quite a session. It really they, was. Later on, you talk about that. Uh, Molly and all the West Indians began to use that type of sound. Yeah, yeah. like that uh, he passed on. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's right. It's huge. This fucking, this is huge. But you know, you just have to lift it to know it's gonna, it's gonna hold the note. All right, let's go to the next one. Thank you, Corky. All right.